the method to find the coordinates of the inflection point for the following function, f of x equals cosine e to the x on the interval from 0 to pi over 3. Okay, so here, okay, f of x equals the cosine of e to the x. f prime of x equals minus sine e to the x times e to the x. f double prime is equal to minus sine e to the x times e to the x. This is product rule. Plus e to the x times the cosine of e to the x times e to the x. Now, a point of inflection is where the second derivative f prime is equal to zero. So f double prime of x equals zero gives a point of inflection. So we want the roots of f double prime, the roots of f double prime of x, not f of x, okay? Be very clear. They're asking for us to find the, um, the coordinates of inflection point. We get an inflection point from the second derivative. So we want the roots of f prime of x. In other words, this is our f of x. Okay, our f of x is f double prime of x. We want the roots of that. That's going to give us an inflection point. So we need, because of Newton's method, the function that we're looking for, we also need its derivative. So we need f capital F prime of x, which is actually f triple prime. Okay, so one more derivative. Uh, let's go ahead and do, okay, so we said that f of x is equal to minus sine e to the x times e to the x plus e to the 2x times the cosine of e to the x f prime of x is going to equal minus sine of e to the x, e to the x, plus e to the x, cosine e to the x, e to the x, plus e to the 2x times minus sine e to the x times e to the x, plus cosine of e to the x times e to the x. So I have my f and I have my f prime. Now we form our x to the n plus 1 equals x to the n minus f of x to the n divided by f prime of x to the n. And of course, I take, I'm hoping that you're doing this, you know, by using your calculator tool that gives you a table of data and things like that. Now, looking at a graph, again, we have to choose our x sub 1. Looking at a graph of f of x, the original puff function, which was the cosine of e to the x between 0 and pi over 3, when I look at the graph, an inflection point appears to be around x equals 0 0.8. So I'm going to take 0 0.8 as my x sub 1. 
So x sub 1 equals 0 0.8. x sub 2, I use this formula, I end up with 0 0.7. 21951. X sub 3, I use this formula. I get 0 0.707864. X sub 4 equals 0 0.707424. X sub 5 equals 0 0.707424 ends up being the same as the thing before to six decimal places, so I go ahead and I stop there. They wanted the coordinates. In other words, they wanted both x and y. What I found was just the x. Now let's go ahead and find y. Uh, now, f of 0 0.707424, the original function was negative 0. 4, 4, 2, 1, 2, 1. Therefore, our coordinate equals uh, point, 0 0.707. Ah, let's get this, get this right. 0 0.707424 minus 0 0.442121. And let's see if we can, what a graph of this looks like. Yes, here's the graph between 0, pi over 6, roughly, here, an inflection point, concave down, and it looks like here, concave up, there's your point. Point 0.707 minus point 0.4, whatever. There you go. Thank you so much for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.